Good morning, Zodiac. Welcome to Soul Family Read. This is going to be for the 21st of October, 2021. It's just got to be a poppin' month. Yeah, for, I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> uh, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. Darn. The High Priestess there on the top. Um, my thought for today was, and I'm dealing with some hair on <laughs> issues and stuff, and um, when I look back on my life now, I think of the idea that uh, born is kind of a rough stone, a blank slate of stone, and life is a matter of, call it God, uh, is chipping away at that stone and creating something. And over time, you know, I believe in my heart, and I mean this spiritually, that you, what is being created is a greater thing, it's always a greater thing. You know, God is a master artist, and it's like, ah, take a little here, and I don't know, I need to go back and smooth this up, and however long you live, that's what it's about. That's a, a, a metaphor of our soul's experience here. All of these experiences that uh, could be Range to devastating to to us um, to uh, wonderful ecstatic uh, epiphanies um, ecstasy um, it's all part of I think you know God carving this greater thing um, maybe that's just what our whole soul's journey is here for so just keeping that in mind as I start it's a four card pull five cards always count heavily the bottom of the deck with this one guys um let's see here i think i'm still in the um you are shut down for your own good i was told do not resist i think i'm kind of still under that edict in a weird way and my biggest thing now is just trying not to resist mm -hmm. relax I'm going to take that, the three of wands for the bottom of the deck. I always said I was going to have an astro dating site. They call it the three of wands. But I won't do it because I've thought it through. I mean, assuming you had a fantastic database, which is the problem, might that could achieve it in large uh, populated areas. Uh, it's sinistry. It's not that easy. Certainly, uh, you could help. <clears throat> this is not strictly a relationship reading, but you know, it's always on my mind. Three of Wands. It's looking, you know, and Wands are actions, taking actions. It's like, you know, like I said, I've, I've done everything. I've done this, I've done that. I've gone to the retreats. I sat with Her Harananda. He wanted me to join when he came to America in the 80s. You know, become a disciple. Um, I had several opportunities along those lines. I really looked. I was, I was going to become a meta, metaphysician. They had a bachelor's degree at the university in Virginia Beach, Virginia for the Casey Foundation. That fell through because they got discredited. Go figure. <laughs> but, God, they had a cool program, too. It was so so far ahead of its time. Now. Uh, but that was heavy on my mind. I was really disappointed when that fell through. I kind of was a little lost after that. You know, I went back and looked at my transit chart around that time. And uh, just kind of, and when you get lost, it's kind of good in a way because you're, now you're kind of open. And you're like, okay, well, before you're like, I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going there. And now you're lost. You're like, I don't know where I'm going. So it kind of opens you up to suggestions <laughs> from the universe. Um, so, you know, this is a, an energy of looking around, third house energy, actions. Um, so that's not necessarily looking for love in all the wrong places, um, you know, but I like the three of wands. I like the three of cups, you know, it's a good energy that's, uh, you know, two is stuck deciding, three is like, okay, let's, let's go, let's do it. So it's taking action. It's sort of like any action is better than no action, too, you could say with the three of wands. You could also say, we've been sitting around with this COVID fucking bullshit for too fucking long. It's time to get out there and live life. This is living life, being in the moment, being alive. Three of Wands, I think. Wow. And here's here we are. The Ace of Pentacles. Solid as you get. If they're always sincere, yeah, we're sincere. And that's what the universe wants. I mean, it accepts nothing else. You can't pull 
You can fool yourself, you can fool your friends, you could maybe fool your therapist. If they're not a good therapist. <laughs> but you can't fool the universe. And you mean it. I think back to when I very first kind of really sincerely inside myself said, you know, I think I want what's best for my soul's purpose. <laughs> and it was like opening the floodgates to a shit storm. And I remember a while later when I had time to think, I felt kind of cheated. And I was like, you know, I thought this was going to be like roses and gardens and heavenly uh, music and stuff here. Uh, but it comes uh, with all of this. Um, it's like you know, the universe says, oh, thank God, you're ready. And it just pulls like a lever and all the karma comes screaming down. Uh, but this would be uh, coming to a place where we really push through a lot of this and we're just very solid here. Um, we're ready to create. We're ready to create from a place of our own inner harmony and best creativity in a solid place. Create something real. This is not creating a castles in the sky. You know, this is um, creating uh, actual things. Here we're alive. We're really living life. Um, creating a home for ourselves, creating a future, creating solid, meaningful relationships and love in our life, uh, uh, creating wealth and abundance. That's, yeah, all of this. Ace of Pentacles here. Well, so it's taking this energy and using it in the very best way. You know, it's not just frivolously running around and, you know, it's actually using our energy. I got the feeling, like with me, it's like I haven't had a lot of energy for a while. So three's about right. If you think of one to ten, ten being the max energy, it's how bad I am. <laughs> it's like I'm a three. I'm on my knees now, and it feels kind of good. It's like, hey, shit, I got up to my knees. I could throw a punch now. I did, you know. Didn't do a lot, but it felt good, you know. I like to code like instead of just always being passive, always being, to get up and just actually do something. Just something, guys. <laughs> What's crossing us? We still need to heal. <laughs> this is in the crossing position. The four swords. Thank you, Spirit. It's very, you know, um, transparent here, this read. <laughs> huh? So it's okay. We could be in this energy and still need to heal. I tell you what, how I feel about this, I don't see this card, you know, you see it, because this is the advice from spirit, what does spirit want us to know, now we'll have to take it in reverse though, if it's reverse, but, you know, this is, um, uh, knowing that we can heal from a place of being solid, and you know, my feeling right now for me, is uh, if I make big life decisions, it's just not the time, because I need this, um, I need this four swords a little more I'm close I'm a little more um, maybe I said talk the other day at my girlfriend she's very intuitive Pisces moon nurse she said you know you know you need more than a couple months to heal and we need time and you know we need to just kind of and that was my original plan when I went to plan she said it was your plan and you know so I don't think things are gonna come together in two months this we need to but you know, everything's fine like you know, I was saying that too and so yeah we're going to try to find like something permanent for six months and just really go deep into this four swords and i mean juicing and exercising and i'm just having a hell of a time just get them on my knees i'm on my knees so um got to be that kind of energy and it always has a spiritual feeling to it you know for me it's just trying to open up the spirit fully believe trust in myself and here we have the four of cups so we'll take it as a reversed energy so this is the advice from spirit. It's a uh, stop not caring, you know, and really uh, allow yourself to care. And look at it. Look at the four swords and the four cups, you know. Um, so maybe part of that healing is, I said, be really wanting to care and give my emotions to myself and uh, this emotional kind of. I need to feel like everything's okay. It's like now I have it in my head be honest with you have it in my head okay well love life's okay but but mm, it's a disaster health is a disaster finances mm, you're just hanging on by a thread things are rotting under you and it's like but at the same time there's such a strong feeling that everything's okay and this is exactly the way it's supposed to be and there is the ace and the four of swords look the ace of pentacles four swords that's it right there it's like knowing 
that I'm not ready to stand up and um, yell uh, something and, and insightful and start a fight right at the moment, but uh, it's okay. Let's see what our outcome is today. <laughs> king of Wands, King of Wands. I gotta love it. <laughs> uh, so, as an outcome, this just means our strength is coming. This is in the near future. Uh, feeling more in control. Oh God, I need this, you know, because I'm not a control guy. I'm not. I'm not. But I need to be. I need to be. And I feel like nothing's. You know, my phone. It's like my phone starts doing things and it drives me nuts. And I have, I try and I spend, I have no idea how to make it stop doing these things. It's like, and I realize this, this sense, like I don't have control. The King of Wands has control, guys. You know, as confident, strong. It feels like the energy is getting stronger. Now you're not on your knees. Now you're standing up. You're strong. King of Wands. Um, it's not going to second guess ourselves. It's got the uh, throne, got the lions, it's that fifth house energy, the sun energy. I was just thinking today, I need the sun, I need the sun, and I don't mean necessarily in the sky, although I do need the sun, you know, but I need the sun in myself. To, and that's the energy I want to go to, and that's what this is. So thank you, Spirit, for this, for this little promise for myself and for the soul family here for the 16th of October. Thank you, guys.